In this video, I'm redesigning five websites that my subscribers sent to me to show you how a few simple changes can dramatically improve the aesthetics and conversion rates of your website. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how I redesign websites to give you a framework for your next project. So let's get started with Rainbow Falls Kennel. This is a pet vacation home built on a beautiful 45 acre farm. And they asked me for help because the website is a few years old. They built it using a Google business template, and it doesn't really capture the feeling of a pet friendly place because it looks kind of bland. So we're gonna redesign it to be more fun and unique, but also make a better sales pitch to the people who really care about their pets. First, I wanna point out what's working. I love the image you're using. It's cute, it's fun, and it's energetic. I also love this green. It makes me think of my pets running around on a green farm, but there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. First, there's way too much text and it's way too small. When you throw too much info at a visitor right away, they lose interest. So you wanna give them one central idea to latch onto, and then you can go into more detail. I also think the gray background detracts from the fun atmosphere we want to create. Gray is the color of like concrete and jail cells, which are two ideas we definitely want to avoid when designing for a kennel. Finally, the design is split into too many sections. We want to find a way to rearrange everything so the eye focuses naturally on our main value proposition, which right now is located up here. So I'm going to load up Figma, which is my design software of choice. And the first thing we'll do is set the whole background to this nice deep green. Then I want to add a subtle noise pattern over top of it to make it look more like an open field. Then we can take your logo and put it in the left hand corner. Now I want to take your main value proposition and use it as the headline on your website. Now to avoid confusion with the logo, I'll use a nice sans serif typeface, make it a little bolder and a little bigger. Now home away from home is a little bit of a cliche, so I'm going to rewrite it slightly to get the same message across while also making it a little more unique. Then I'm going to add in a label above the headline that speaks to the visitor's main problem that they have to leave home and want to leave their pet in good hands. Then I'm going to condense all this information into a subtitle underneath the header. In this subtitle, we want to tell people that their pets will be on a beautiful farm and we're going to be in their area because we want to let people know where you are. We can also add in the detail that your family owned so that your pets will be taken care of just like they are at home. Underneath that, let's add in a button that reinforces the header. So we'll say book your pets vacation today. To make this look a little nicer, we'll start by rounding the corners, then we'll add a subtle gradient that increases in transparency from top to bottom. Finally, we'll add a white border, followed by a subtle drop shadow to add some realism and some flair. Next, I wanna transform your image into something that looks like a postcard being sent from the pets on their vacation. So I'll load up Photoshop, and I'll start by adding in a postcard graphic that I downloaded from Envato Elements. I'll change the color to white, that way I can use it as a mask on top of the image Image to give this photo a cool rugged effect. Next, I'll add in some strips of tape so that it looks like the postcard is taped to your website. Since I think we can use more than one image here, I'll repeat this process for another stock photo and you can sub in your own image from the farm. All right, now we're back in Figma and I wanna place these images to the right of our headline. I'll resize them and play around with the rotation and positions until we have something that looks good. Okay, I'm happy with that. The last thing we wanna do is remake the right side of your header to match the aesthetics of the redesign. To do that, first I'll drag in our menu, set the color of the menu items to white, and change the last menu item into a button that matches the look of our other button. Next, I want to change the send an email and give us a call buttons to display your actual email and phone number. I'll just put in placeholder info for this video. Since people are probably also wondering exactly where you're located, I'll add in an address as well and give that its own icon. So there you go. This is the final redesign. Just as a reminder, here is the before and here's the after. Before, after. Hopefully you're happy with this redesign, and if you like the look and feel, you can continue with this aesthetic for the entire website. Next up, we've got Fresh Start Counseling, which provides counseling and mental health services to adults living with ADHD. Like so many small businesses, they were interested in a redesign because this website was made using a default WordPress template, and they wanted something a little bit more custom. They said visitors complained about the washed out design and sort of confusing layout, so they wanted something a little bolder and more obvious, so visitors knew exactly who they were and where to go to schedule an appointment. On top of that, they wanted to ditch the red color scheme altogether because they said it looked a little too negative. They also asked if I could incorporate their tagline, get a fresh start, so we'll definitely do that. I want to start with what's working here. First, I really like the general layout, especially using this big image in the center here. I think if we could unbury it from this text, it would stand out a lot more. And I also like that you're directly addressing your target audience and some of the problems that they might be facing. Now, a couple areas of opportunity stand out to me right away. First, we have 
one, two, three, four, five call to actions. That's gonna confuse first time visitors. So we want a way to streamline this into one main call to action and make that super obvious. It also might feel washed out because this image has a black overlay over it to make the text easier to read. But the text covers up these wonderful people's faces. And since the eye naturally gravitates towards faces, it makes any text over top of them harder to read. Finally, this welcome heading doesn't immediately tell me I should read to learn more. And so all this great information underneath that might get skipped. We want to find a way to consolidate this all into one section without covering up anybody. Luckily, I think with a few small tweaks to the layout, it should be doable, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is take your image and allow it to cover the full height of the frame. This is going to make the faces pop a lot more. Then I'm going to add a black gradient starting from the bottom and fading quickly about a quarter of the way up the image. That way we'll be able to add text at the bottom here without blocking anybody's face and without it getting washed out in the image. Next, I'm going to make kind of a bold choice. You want it to feed your tagline get a fresh start somewhere in this redesign so I'm gonna make it the main visual element with a huge block of bold text in a bright eye-catching yellow using a big sans serif font now this is definitely a statement it's attention grabbing so we can't have anything else be too big and we have to use this statement to lead the eye towards more information and a call to action so to give this context I'm gonna put a bit of text over top of the tagline that directly addresses the main customer avatar then we're gonna make this italic so if you're an adult living with ADHD, get a fresh start. Now, how do we want them to do this? How do we want visitors to move forward? We want them to schedule an appointment. So underneath the tagline, let's make a button that's again, very straightforward. Click to schedule an appointment. Let's round the corners and add a black border. Then we'll give it a soft inner glow to match the lighting in our picture. And this is optional, but I think a small arrow that leads the eye from the end of the tagline to the button could be a nice touch. Now let's bring some of that information from the welcome section into the new design to balance everything out a little bit. Now that this section is done, let's work on the header. So the first thing I'm gonna do is transform this red logo to white because you said you're ditching the red. And then we're gonna move this into the top left corner. Now, since we already have a lot going on in this design, I wanna make the menu a lot simpler. I'm gonna merge the get started button with the two contact buttons and the other two call to actions. So that'll just be one menu item. We'll keep the rest as they are and move them into the right hand corner. Then if we want the get started button to stand out just a little bit more, we can add a subtle border around it in the same yellow as our tagline. So there it is. This is the final redesign for Fresh Start Counseling. This was the before and here's the after. So let me know what you think. I definitely went big and bold with this redesign, but it's a lot less washed out like you requested. So I hope you found this helpful. Our next website comes to us from Morgan's Catering. She says she paid an agency a few years ago to develop her website and for the time it was fine, but she's since expanded to be a really full service event planner from setup to teardown. So to portray that, she changed the copy down here herself to emphasize that they're more than a catering business, but she's looking for a redesign to really emphasize that point. She asked if I could give her website a more natural feel, maybe incorporate some real world elements, if I could simplify it and give visitors the option to choose a service right away since most of her traffic is coming from referrals and Facebook. That sounds great. So before we get started with the redesign, let's take inventory of what's working and what we might consider changing. The main thing that I love about this design is actually a really small detail. It's these circular rings around the images down here that look a little bit like plates. Since you asked to incorporate some real world elements, I think this could be a great place to start. I also like that everything is arranged in order so visitors know exactly what you do. I just like to make this a little bit more obvious by moving it up in the design. I think we could do that by basically removing this whole first section. You know, the image is kind of grainy. There's these black bars which cut it off and it makes this text a lot harder to read. So we're gonna focus on what's working and to keep it simple, cut out everything else. To give this design a more natural feel like you requested, I'm gonna start by bringing in a paper texture. Then I'm gonna set the background to a nice warm cream color and lower the opacity of the paper so that it blends with the cream and creates a look like a physical menu. Now, because you said you wanted to simplify the design, the best way to do that visually is to incorporate repeatable elements. So that way there's a natural rhythm and logic to the design so visitors know where to look and it won't look cluttered. To do that, we're gonna design a container that will repeat throughout the design to try to make it look like a menu. So let's start by adding a title. Let's say catering and pick out a fancy kind of serif font. 
Over top of that, let's just put in a bit of text that highlights the benefit of the service. And because we don't want it to take up too much visual attention, we'll use a script font. Underneath that, let's put in a subtitle that explains what visitors get with the service. And because we want this to be super legible, let's use a sans serif font. Next, to make it feel more like a physical menu, let's add in a line that separates the title from the description. I noticed a lot of menus do this and I think it's a nice touch. Next, to the left of this whole thing, I wanna add that plate motif that you had in the old design. So to do that, I'm gonna add in a white frame, set the corner radius to 500 so that it's perfectly circular. Then on the inside, I'm gonna add in another frame, again, set the quarter radius to 500 and place in the image you had on your homepage. Next, to make this feel more like a plate, I'm gonna start by adding in a light gray border on the outside of the outermost frame. Then I'll add a dark inner shadow coming from the bottom right and a light inner shadow coming from the top left. This will make it feel more like a 3D object. Finally, to drive that home, I'll add in a drop shadow on the bottom right. So now that we have this container done, we can repeat it three more times for your other services. So I'll fill in that content add in the images until we have something that resembles a real life menu. Next, let's add in our title and we'll use the same font we used for our menu titles. Make it a little bit bigger and set it to bold. Now, because most of your traffic is coming from Facebook and word of mouth, we can write a title that assumes people are already a little familiar with your business. Underneath that, we'll put in a subtitle using the same font from our menu subtitle. And we'll write about how you handle everything from setup to teardown and how you can either get the full event package or choose services a la carte. Next up, we'll add a button to book an event and we'll use the same red color as the lines in the menu. Finally, we'll add in your logo in the top left. And instead of having menu items, since you wanted to keep this design more simple, we'll just add in a hamburger menu on the right that visitors can click to navigate your website. To make it a little bit more obvious though, we'll set it to that same red color. And there you go, this is the finished redesign for Morgan's Catering. As a reminder, this is what the website looked like before, and this is the after. So if you like the direction of this redesign, you can continue with the same kind of theme throughout the rest of your website. Next up, we've got Baresi Ceramic and PPF, a detailer in Boca Raton. He reached out because he personally feels that the website is way too busy. People have told him it doesn't really look super professional, but most importantly is that he's running an ad campaign soon where he wants to advertise specifically his ceramic coatings and paint protection film services. So he asked if I could take a look at his website to see if I could simplify it, make it a lot more polished and specifically advertise his ceramic and PPF. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get started by taking a look at what's working and what we might consider changing. First, I really like the black and red color scheme. I think it matches great with the black and red details of the car. I also really like the image itself. The car looks like it was really professionally detailed. So I wanna find ways to elevate that feeling of sleek cleanliness, which will probably involve clearing out a lot of this other information. Cause you know, I'm not a huge fan of the layout. I think too much is trying to compete for my visual attention. Like the button is bigger than the headline. We have two different subtitles. The spacing definitely feels a little bit cramped. And I agree that right now it feels a little busy. So we're gonna take all the important parts of the design, clean it up and really focus on the ceramic coating and paint protection film. So just like the Fresh Start redesign, I'm gonna set the image to take up the full height of the page. But unlike Fresh Start, we're not going to zoom out and see more of the image, but I want to zoom in and really focus on how shiny and clean that car looks after being ceramic coated. Next, we're going to add in our headline. I'm going to pick out a super clean and strong sans serif font, make it pretty big and extra bold. Now, most visitors to this page are going to be coming through Facebook ads for ceramic coating and PPF in Boca Raton. So what we wanna do is reassure them that they're getting what they clicked on. So our headline is literally just going to say ceramic coating and paint protection film. Then over top of that, we can add in some text that says where we're located, make that much smaller and less bold. Then I'm gonna take the most important bits of info that you had in these cards here, as well as the guarantee and condense that into one paragraph underneath the title. Next up underneath that, I'm going to add in a button that says book appointments and I'm gonna use the Lucid icon plugins to add in a calendar and frame both of those together. Then to add a splash of color to the design, I'm gonna add in a nice red that matches the interior of the car. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down so it looks more like a red glass. Then I'll add a small red border around the button and give it a subtle roundness. Then I wanna add in a testimonial section to back up the claim that we made rated number one in Boca Raton. So I'll create a tiny circular frame and add a person inside of it. Then I'll duplicate that five times change out the images and add auto layouts. Then to stack them over top of each other a little bit, I'll add some negative spacing between each frame. Then on the right, I'll add in five stars 
and a tiny 5.0 to the right of that. Then underneath that, I'll add in the number of reviews. Now to make this whole thing a little more visible, I'll add in a dark linear gradient. It starts in the top left and disappears around the middle of the page. Okay, great, that's looking good. Next, I wanna create a space for your logo and menu. So I'll create a black frame at the top and then lower the opacity to make some of the image visible. Then I'm gonna take your logo, crop it out of the image and then invert the color. Now I can place it in the top left of our header. Awesome, that looks nice. Then I'm going to recreate our menu using the same font so everything looks consistent. Make the text a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna make the last menu item a deep red so that it stands out a little bit more. All right, so this is the redesign for Baresi Ceramic and PPF. I think we made it a lot more simpler and a lot more optimized for cold traffic. So just as a reminder, this was the before, and here's the completed redesign. Finally, the last website we're redesigning comes from Elizabeth, who is an SAT prep tutor in Little Rock. She wanted to know if there was anything I would do to spruce up her website because it feels a little bit sparse and generic to her. In the hero section, she just has a picture of herself and a bio, and she wants to make it more obvious right away that she's a tutor and that she's good at helping students of all different kinds. So I could definitely help with that, probably by incorporating some testimonials and some classroom design elements. But first, let's start with what I like about the design. I think using an image of yourself in the hero section is a great idea if you run any kind of personal service business. It's good for parents and students to see you and get comfortable with you. I also really like that you do have a bio. A lot of one person businesses sort of forget that they are the business and the more people know about you, the better. Finally, my favorite part about this section is actually a hidden detail because in the middle of this chunk of text, you've got a great stat that students improve by over 200 points compared to their pretest scores when they work with you. So we definitely want to make that more prominent in the redesign. So there's a lot working here, but there's definitely a lot that could be improved. For starters, that great stat was sort of buried in a big block of text that has a couple of great key points, but a lot of unnecessary info as well. It's not obvious what makes you good without asking visitors to read a really big paragraph right away. It's also not super Super legible because the text is a little bit small and light gray doesn't stand out well against a white background. I also agree with your assessment that it is a little bit sparse. I would love to see maybe some stats or testimonials from students. So now that we know what we're looking to keep and what we want to improve, let's get started with the redesign. The first thing I want to do is set the background to a subtle off-white. I'm going to incorporate some real-world elements into this design, so I want the background to feel more realistic. Next, I want to take this block of text here, condense it, and make it visually obvious this is a tutoring website. Now to get that look, I want to design a note card in Figma and write our text on that. So we'll start with a white frame placed in the center of our design. Then I'm gonna draw a red line across the top and a blue line underneath it. Make sure the spacing is right and then duplicate the blue lines down the frame. Now that we have our note card, let's add some text. I like the personal touch of introducing yourself at the start. So I'm gonna add that to the top of the note card, but I wanna pick out a more fun, casual font and increase the spacing a little bit. Then underneath that, I'll write the intro and I wanna use a monospace font to make it look like it was printed onto the note card. In this paragraph, I wanna emphasize three things, where you're located, your experience, and most importantly, how you help students with the SATs. All right, that looks good. Now, just to drive that stat home, I'm gonna make it a little bit bolder and change the color to green. Then I'm gonna add in a little arrow to make it stand out more and to visually convey the increase. Now I want the car to seem more realistic, so I'm gonna add in a subtle drop shadow. Next, we're gonna add back in your image, but crop it a little to fit it next to the card, and then we'll add a one pixel gray border, some border radius, and a drop shadow, just cause again, I wanna make this section feel real. To facilitate that and also to add some testimonials, I wanna design frames that look like fridge magnets that have students on them with some academic achievements and a kind word about Elizabeth. Now, I don't have access to your testimonials, so I'm gonna make some up and you can add in your own. So we'll start by making a frame with a width of 305 and a height of 270. Then we'll give it a tiny border radius and a thick outside stroke in a nice light blue color. Then inside of the frame, we'll add two more frames. The first we'll set to that same blue background, then add in an image of our student and then her name. And we'll use a sans serif font here for some extra legibility. Increase the weight and the size. Underneath that, we'll also have her accomplishment. So what did Elizabeth help her achieve? Let's just say she got into Princeton. Then we'll write a glowing testimonial about how Elizabeth helped her go from a 1350 to a 1560. Again, these are all just examples substitute in your own testimonials. Then I'm gonna duplicate this frame twice change the colors, change up the students, their accomplishments, and their testimonials. Then I'm gonna place them to either side of our note card and rotate them slightly so they really look like fridge magnets. 
And to sell the realism, again, I'll add in a drop shadow. Awesome, that's looking good. So since we have some extra space underneath our note card, I'll add in some stats. So using the same sans serif font from our student names, I'll add in a number underneath our note card and the stat associated with that number beneath that. I'll repeat that twice for two other stats. Underneath those, I'd like to bring our button in. Now I'd like to make the text a little bit bigger and a little bolder. Then I'll give it some roundness and add a black border. Now for even more realism, I'm just gonna add a small glow inside of this button coming from the top and left sides. Then I'll add in another drop shadow so that the whole design kind of looks like it's on a real teacher's desk. Then I'm gonna add your logo to the top left and your menu in the center of the design aligned with the note card. That looks pretty good. I just like to add one final touch and that's to bring in a shadow overlay over top of this whole design to make it look even more lifelike and realistic. And finally, I'm gonna turn the opacity way down so that it doesn't interfere with the visibility of anything. So there we go, this is the final redesign. Just as a reminder, this is the before and here's the after. If you enjoyed this video and want me to redesign your website, check out the first link in the description where you can submit your website to a Google form and you might be featured in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video right here where I've redesigned more small business websites.